Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for replacing or cleaning a positive crank ventilation valve on a 2007 Toyota Camry with a 2AZ-FE 2.4 liter engine. If you haven't done so already, please take a look at my video describing secrets for planning an auto repair. Now let's get started. So let's talk about the symptom of a bad PCB valve. The most obvious symptom of a bad valve is the performance of your vehicle will gradually decrease. This will be exhibited by a buildup of pressure in the exhaust or engine that could stall the engine. The bad PCV valve may not close all the way and allow gas to flow into the piston combustion chamber causing excessive oil consumption or white smoke from the tailpipe. Also a stuck or closed valve may cause leaks around oil seals or gaskets producing multiple pools of oil beneath the vehicle. Moisture and sludge build up inside the engine and higher idling speeds. And this is why I personally call this the silent engine killer because uh, with the modern vehicles today, we're not getting, or many folks are not getting um, tune-ups and maintenance checks as often as they should. And when they do, they just do a quick fix like the plugs or something like that and they never even look at the PCV valve and then they're wondering why oil is leaking all over their engine. And um, most folks just don't even know to check this valve. So that's the supply list for today is a PCV valve, model number 742. This is Interpol motor. Um, it's pretty, pretty generic, nothing special about this at all. There it is. And you'll notice a brand new valve. There's the rattling sound. We're gonna go over that more a little bit later. Okay, the next item is a 22 millimeter socket. And this is a deep socket here is what you're going to need, not the shorter one. 22 millimeter socket, um, a standard PPE, and other things you can find down in the description below. Um, here's our first pro tip. The electronic control module for the engine can compensate for a bad PCV valve for an extended period of time before the con condition creates a fault and triggers a check engine light. It will go a very long time trying to compensate for a bad valve, and in the meantime, you're gonna get all sorts of other problems. Okay, let's move forward. So here's our cover right here. So after removing the cover, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look in the left rear corner of the valve cover this is the valve cover, and right here you will find the PCV valve. And so there's a hose connection right here, which I'm going to take off just this one small clamp using some pliers. So there you go, the hose has been removed. Next, I'm going to use my 22 millimeter socket, my deep socket, with my half inch ratchet. And I'm going to remove this valve. Like so. The rest of it, I almost dropped it there. Take it off the rest of the way with my hand, and I'm going to show you what this, the clicking sound sounds like. And if you notice, there's not a pinging, it's not a sharp sound. And I think you can see that this one is in pretty bad shape. Okay? So at this point, you can either replace the valve, and I'll show that later, but right now I'm going to go through a short description on how, um, in a pinch, you might be able to simply clean this valve um, until you can get a, a new valve to replace it. So let's move forward with the cleaning. Okay, at this time I'm gonna do a quick comparison between the two valves in their current condition. This is the clean valve. See how that snaps? And then I'm gonna connect the spare hose to it. Okay? Second valve. It, the spring seems to be in really good condition. However, when I connect my test hose to it, 
is three times the amount of pressure. Okay, so that indicates there's it's sticky. And so let's go ahead and clean it real quick. So I have a small container. I have some carb cleaner. And I'm just gonna spray it right on here like that. Spraying it down into the container so you're not wasting the carb cleaner. Also, I'm gonna spray it on that end right there. Okay, take your toothbrush. Now you haven't wasted any carb cleaner, right? And you're just gonna clean it just like that. Okay, continuing with the cleaning after several minutes. Basically with this car cleaner, it's just gonna loosen everything up. And now, okay, so now let's let's check take a look. See or oh, watch this. Notice how sharp it is now, it's a lot cleaner. It's almost clean. So now I have hot water running in the background. And I'm gonna rinse out. I'm gonna rinse out all of that carb cleaner. And then I'm gonna repeat the steps that I just did. I'm gonna spray, brush, and rinse. So now I've completed two cycles of spraying, brushing, shaking, and rinsing. Now I'm gonna compare both the new and the old. Honestly, both of these are functioning properly and I could put this one back in the vehicle if I, if I didn't have a choice. But I'm, of course, I'm going to go ahead and use my new valve because I have a new valve. And so let's move back to the installation of the new valve. So either we're, let's go ahead and just start it off by hand. And you notice there's a little uh, thread sealant already, already wrapped onto this, this particular valve, which is really nice. Not all of them have it. And as usual, you never, you always want to thread any bolt by hand initially. And even at this point right here, we're threading by hand, never using a ratchet. And once you feel comfortable that it's threaded properly, then you can begin to you know, use leverage through the use of a ratchet. Okay, so now I'm pulling up probably about 15 pounds, foot pounds of pressure on that. Here's my hose. I'm simply gonna push my hose back on there like that. Double check that my clamp is in the right place. Now, we're pretty much done at this point. So we're just gonna replace the cover. We have our two screws for our valve cover, two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, we're gonna tighten those down with the ratchet. And that just about wraps up the positive crank ventilation valve on the 2007 Toyota Camry with the 2AZ FE engine. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips. As always, drive defensively and we'll see you next time.